morning folks finally started getting over my stomach bug my wife also forgot to buy shaving blades hence i look like a homeless person but yeah show must go on today we're playing the drake and all i can say about the drake is she is so much better than the albemarle and you're not gonna change my mind hope everybody enjoys it uh as i said during the voiceover as well no video on friday friday's christmas morning i'm not touching a pc i'm gonna sit outside in the pool in South Africa, spend time with the family. We'll see you guys next week on Saturday for the stream and then next week for videos again. Take care. Cheers. Right, so with my Albemarle grind finally done, I moved up to the Drake. And let me just say this from the start Drake is just so much better. Except I got Cap as the captain on him. That's not so bad. Right. So this is one of those morning matches. I'm playing with Underdog, who's in East Jutland, and Louise, who's in East Friesland. And they decided they're going to go for the sea cap here. Another Drake. Well, okay, let's go back to the Albemarle. I did not use a single stitch of free XP uh, when I went through the Albemarle grind. People said it was shit. And I have to wholeheartedly agree, that thing is actually built for free XP. But I thought, you know what, let's see. And in the end, I did manage to get her to work, to a certain extent. I'm not going to say she was brilliant, but I got her to work. But then you end up in a tier 10 match, and you face something like a Kremlin that just <laughs> sits and holds you straight through the nose. Oh man, that thing was just so bad. So the Drake Drake is a huge improvement. Gun range is actually like 18.4 kilometers. Yeah, they take 18 seconds to reload. But they set fires quite often. Um, you've got 10 kilometer torpedoes. Uh, relatively decent detectability at 10.4. Um, so it's a it's a decent package, and people complain like the A, but if you look at the Yoshino, uh, Alaska, Zuma, all of them, the reloads are at anything from eighteen to twenty. Yeah, it's not Des Moines reloads of what's it six seconds, etc. But the guys managed to spot the Osterjutland there, and uh, unfortunately, he disappears. Because, uh, smoke. But I do see an Iowa pushing in. And we had no idea why this Iowa was pushing so uh, heavily. You'll also notice my gun turret there actually bounced the shell. The enemy Le Fantasque. Uh, torpedoes are Helena, which is unfortunate. Because I am 100% certain the Helena does have Hydro. Or at least does have the option of fitting Hydro. And that was a pity. But again, no idea why this Iowa is pushing in so crazily. He's getting absolutely melted. I mean, he's got a Jutland, or sorry, a Jutland, that's a pronunciation, and a Friesland sitting there, and me. And then there's also a Surrey and an Atlanta. Now, the Atlanta is obviously trying to form that Vanguard and Minnesota, and not. Not really pushing the smoke of the Jutland and the Friesland, which is a pity. But I managed to break one of his guns, set a fire, break his engine, and it goes dark, which is unfortunate. But I know where he was the last time, so uh, let's f throw some shells at him. Now I've taken up this position here. The Drake has relatively decent shell arcs. I see Louise is still being contested for sea cap. I said relatively decent shell arcs. I still <laughs> shot the mountain there. And I need to pull back a little bit in order to get the shells over to start working on this Minnesota. Enemy team has more points than we do since we lost that Helena so early to the Lafon task. Unfortunately, too much pressure. Enemy Iowa kills our Z-23, a land six shells on the Minnesota there. <clears throat> and the enemy team, the Oster-Jutland, manages to take uh, 
the cap yeah the c cap there from uh, louise and underdog now underdog's in the jutland and the jutland's got incredibly low concealment very similar to i think the lightning lightning i think was about 5.5 i think the jutland is 5.7 score of fire there on the iowa and it does look like that fire is uh, perma fire The Tashkent gets spotted, and uh, both uh, Underdog and Louise are starting to work it again. Not much I can do. I've gone dark behind the mountain, spotted again for 20 seconds when I fire, and I start throwing shells at this Minnesota. Now you would think the. Ooh, what's coming in here? Ow. Oh. And unfortunately, that was the Jutland's going to go behind the mountain there, and I can't get him. Now, you would think the 18-second reload on this is a bit of a crutch, but it's actually not. It's it's actually pretty good. Now, the match doesn't look too good for us. I mean, we've lost two, two ships already, including a destroyer. We are three caps to one. And... Finally, the enemy vanguard kills at Le Fantasque, and unfortunately, uh, oh, this friendly vanguard kills the enemy Fantasque, the enemy Surrey kills that friendly vanguard. So there are two ships up to one. The fire for effect Minnesota manages to take out the enemy Iowa, and that was the one at the back there that also had a fire on. So we slowly pulling back the, the ship deficit and I see that Minnesota again squeeze a couple of shells past this mountainside before I go there and I decide oh ooh, ooh, speedy death pylons incoming pop hydro I manages to get managed to get a fire that's stuck on the Minnesota the Florida just dodges the torps and there's Oster Jutland No, he's turning away. I do fire at him, but the fire, ugh, the shells are just too slow from the Drake to make a meaningful impact there. Luckily, that fire that I set on the Minnesota manages to kill him, and I get my first kill of the match. Now, for my two friends in the destroyers here, the DM Don score is a problem. Radar, fast firing guns. They can't hide and smoke from him. Louise calls for fire on him. And I decide to push up with this Florida. We need caps. Underdog decides to challenge for sea cap in his Jutland. And I managed to set a fire on the Nelson back there. As I said, the Drake has got great, great fire starting potential. The HE is absolutely shit Ugh, apologies the ap is absolutely shit the he is phenomenal it's a british ship what do you expect now there's a destroyer right up here and unfortunately i do not have radar i've only got hydro and that hydro is about to run down what i do have is the ability to try and smoke fire and there one shell touches him and he's got a fire florida Unfortunately, he turns broadside to the smoke and there's a Tashkent. Florida finishes us off that Diam Tonskoy. And there comes the torpedoes from the Tashkent. A second shell is hit and I set another fire on the Tashkent. And I think those will be perma. Now the Florida has unfortunately taken some of those torpedoes. But the Florida does have relatively good secondaries. <laughs> Underdog manages to kill himself in Osterbutland. The Alsash that went south pushes up with us. And unfortunately it floods out from that Tashkent. But in quick succession we've gotten rid of all of the DDs. And we have cap majority in 3, 2, 
one. There we go. I managed to cap a cap. Double fire on the Nelson again. As I said, this thing's HE is phenomenal. The AP is shit. The HE is really, really good. So we're pulling back the points. We're at 474 versus 420. And of course, with three caps versus their one, this is going to go much, much better. Then Nelson does have some vicious guns, and I don't want to go full broadside to him, but it does look like he might be fleeing, as there is a York and Alsage pushing as well. So that fire will be a perma fire on the Nelson, as he damage controlled the previous two that I set. Now the Nelson, you've seen me play it before. Nelson has got that almost super heal from the Conqueror. Really, really good um, free XP ship. If you're looking for one of your first free ex free XP ships to get, and you have about, I think it's 375,000 free XP to spare, do pick yourself up the Nelson. It is well, well worth it. And you makes a great captain trainer. Unfortunately, we lose our Gnais now to the enemy Gnais now. And then we lose our Minnesota to the enemy Atlanta. Thankfully, our York kills the Nelson off and we are still a few ships ahead. Now, on the right hand side of the screen, you'll see Underdog. He literally has one HP to spare in his Jutland. We said to him, all right. You know the joke where you have two, uh, let's say, 200 XP and that's 199 XP more than you need? You have one XP that you, you don't have more XP. Enemy Massachusetts skills are Mogami, unfortunately. But with us pushing relatively strong, I end up here facing off against the Massachusetts. So I'm still... Uh, Starting to hit the brakes here, because it's not a ship I want to face off, and these secondaries can absolutely ruin my day. Luckily, I have a York and an Alsace also peppering him, and then of course, Louise and his Friesland. And the guy in the chat is correct. No reason to push, we have the cap advantage. And on this... On this map that push around the south side has been actually one of several times that I've done it with the um, Drake she has just enough armor and firepower to burn things out from around that corner and uh, I'm enjoying her I think I'm gonna enjoy the Goliath even more when I eventually get to her yeah, there's no real rush because we get cheap Santa containers as uh, our Alsash kills off the Surrey we get shitty Santa containers instead of proper super containers for our tier 10s this year. I mean, it's just... That's just such a dick move. That said, I did get a whole bunch of economic signals. And I set another fire on that um, Massachusetts over there. He's burning. Now, that could not... Ganais now has taken an unhealthy interest in me and he sets double fires, which is unfortunate. And I get my second kill of the match from that Massachusetts. Fire on the Ganais now, and there's only three enemy ships versus uh, our five. And Underdog says, look, he's hiding, he's got one HP. And we said to him, please do not fire your guns, you are worth more spotting to us at the moment. And somebody says, yep, 1 HP in a dream. And the thing is, if he stays dark, he can still do a lot of impact spotting-wise. So we have an Atlanta pushing here. Time for me to heal up. And there's my Witherer. 130,000 damage. <coughs> Excuse me. Wouldn't be a voiceover. Ooh, there's my Confederate. It wouldn't be a voiceover by me if there wasn't an early morning cough. Thankfully, I'm feeling a hell of a lot better from the stomach bug that plagued me for the last week. 
Oh, still misidentified ships, etc. Here, yeah. oh, Louise kills himself in Atlanta. So it's literally the Ganais now up north, as well as this Charles Martel. And underdog fired, and the Charles Martel took the opportunity to pop him. I mean, really, really, underdog. We told you to be to go dark. I thought I had good fire chances. Good heavens, this guy touches me and he sets me on fire. Yeah, and the guy is correct in asking why. So, incapacitation, fire. Come on, Charles Martel. Both of us can play this game. Now, I forgot that I broke stuff and I aim a little bit ahead of him. Which is a bit of a pity. Louise and his Friesland is coming back. They are still shooting at that Kanais now. So it's a, just me and this uh, Charles Martel. And he touches me again. And he gets a bloody fire. I mean, of course, Cap is screaming his lungs out every time something happens. It's almost as bad as a weeb captain. I got one more heal left, so it's time to pop it. And will you look at that? He sets another fire. I mean, double fires. Good fucking heavens. What luck did this Charles Martel have? So I'm just making double sure as Louise kills himself. Ignize now. Nope. I can't torpedo the Charles Martel. And he touches me again and he gets another fire. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Really? But... I managed to break something. Doesn't show me. I suspect I broke either his rudder or his engine. Fire is not going to stick long. We're at 993 points. He obviously wants to see where I am. And the time runs out. Unfortunately, I couldn't kill him there. He survives. But if we look at the post stats, Confederate high caliber, dreadnought, fire, well, fireproof, um, and 146,000 damage, two kills. Oh, and top of the team with uh, underdog second of all things, and that's uh, due to all the spotting. Also, 2055 base XP. I'll take that, ladies and gentlemen. Really enjoying the Drake. She's such an upgrade from the Albemol. Hope everybody has a fantastic Christmas week. Uh, there will not be a video on Friday morning being Christmas. I will see you next week sometime. Take care. Cheers.